What is up, guys? Welcome to Fat Belly Fishing. I conventionally don't do my videos from inside my truck. I will be getting out and going fishing in a second, but there's no way you guys could hear me right now if I was outside. The wind is blowing harder than a leaf blower in the middle of fall right now. I'm talking like some serious force. I'm not sure why I'm out here. Actually, I do because I'm gonna be doing a mystery tackle box video. So this video will be in partnership with Catch Co and a mystery tackle box. I'm gonna be going for some snook redfish and trout. If you guys like this video and want to uh, try one of these boxes out, you can try one out for only $10 using the code FATBELLY. I'm pointing down here, hopefully the letters come out somewhere right there. Anyways, I'll be showing you guys what I got in my box and uh, how to fish these things. Uh, Mystery Tackle Box basically challenges me to be a better fisherman because a lot of times they're lures that I have never seen before. I haven't come across one box where I haven't caught anything on it. So, Right before we get started, I just have to say one thing. Uh, I was told that I need to make a special announcement to Miss Durnell's class. Uh, over in Palm Harbor, Safety Harbor, one of those harbors, wherever you kids are hiding. Uh, just thank you for watching. I appreciate that a whole classroom likes to watch me. Um, you guys, please get better grades than me or else you're going to end up on YouTube. All right, let's take a quick peek before we get out there. What's in the box? I see many shads right off the bat. Lighthouse lures might start with those we got some errand baits i have a couple errands that watch the channel if you're an errand these are your baits thank you <laughs> uh a spoon or a vertical jig i probably won't be using this one today let's see optimum baits this is definitely what i'm starting off with uh This thing looks like a mullet that got his nose smashed in, so a snook's definitely going to want to eat him. We got some sort of jerk bait that looks like it could be a topwater. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a little dangle. As always, Mystery Tackle Box always gives you some terminal tackle. Uh, I'm not going to have any live bait today, so I'm not going to be using that. But lastly, we have the best thing in the box, the sticker, tree pounder. <laughs> How many tree pounders at home? Oh, keep it PG, folks. Realistically, I'm only gonna have probably enough time to fish one or two of these baits, so I'm gonna just take uh, probably the soft plastic and then that little swim bait that was in there and see what I can get done. I've decided we're gonna start with the mini shads show you guys how we're gonna rig them real quick and then how I'm gonna use them so I put on a jig head that was kind of gonna match this baits color you don't have to do that I just did it just run this through that's how we're gonna fish it right there It'll look like that So like in 90% of my videos, all I'm doing today is casting this thing out. And I'm just getting it short pops back in like this. I just love working soft plastics. That's my, it's my jam. It's a trout right here I just hooked. If this is a trout, this is a huge trout. Please be a trout, please be a trout. I think it is. Yeah, it's a huge trout, huge trout. Oh my god! Huh, look at this trout! Oh my! Guys, look at this freaking trout. I don't know if this video is doing it justice, but this is a massive trout. I mean, my hand. That's it's like a 20 something inch trout right here. That thing's a beast. <laughs> Awesome. Ate that lure out of the mystery tackle box. Okay. 
that little mystery tackle box lure did the trick. Absolute slayed that big trout. Got a face away from the sun so the wind doesn't block the mic, but that was a tank of a trout. That was awesome. I hope it's not too windy right now. I'm trying to, trying to block some of the wind noise here. That was like probably a 22, 23 inch trout. That's a monster trout. That was awesome. You guys believe that old trouser trout Michael Searcy told me that we were gonna fish today. So I got up to go fishing and he did not want to go once I got up. Unreal. Fishing applications for a new YouTube fishing partnership below. Just drop them below. Let's see who wants to come with. I really didn't know if that trout was a trout or a snook because when he hit, his head came thrashing out of the water. And I said, this is either a really big trout or it's going to be like a medium to small size snook. Turned out to be a very big trout, very healthy. One of those fat bellies. That trout uh, messed up the lure a little bit. It was still fine. I still can fish it, but I'm going to put a new one on. So I put this lure on a uh, 1 4 ounce mission lure jig head. I just like the color match, so that's what I went with. Uh, and the leader is 20 pounds. It's just a uh, 20 pound fluoro. You can use mono or fluorocarmet. I got it to about, I don't know if you guys can see the knot. I got it to, I think, 10 pound braid, 12 pound, something like that. There we go. All snug, all snug. So it looks like at least. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There he is. Come here. No, come here. Just want to talk to you about our Lord and Savior. Oh, he's got a choke. He might break me off here. Let's see. Let's see. We got that thing down in there. Boom. Nice little snooker right there. Inhaled it. Huh, he wasn't even hooked. The tail was just stuck down in his mouth. Cool little guy. All right, we'll let her go. Here we go. There we go. Fish on the board. Clobbered it. We got a jumping trout. Easy, brother. We're all friends here. There we go, on the uh, lighthouse bait. There we go. There's another little guy here. Let's see. Another little guy. Oh, a little, little, little guy. Just a baby. Little baby trout. All right, guys. Well, uh, tight lines and a margarita good time. Don't forget that we do the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Every 1,000 subscribers, we take one of you guys fishing. So uh, just like and subscribe if you want to come along. And uh, tell Michael he's lame for not coming today.